¿Qué tal? Saludos a todos los seguidores de Mundo Deportivo. Estamos en la Ciudad Deportiva Joan Camper con la futbolista del Barça, Kira Walsh, con la que vamos a despedir el año 2022 y la que nos va a explicar un poco pues, cómo están siendo sus primeros meses como jugadora del FC Barcelona. First of all, Kira, thanks for attending us to Mundo Deportivo. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I mean, I definitely wouldn't have believed it. I think, obviously, winning the Euros, um, that was our, our dream, uh, being, at, being at home as well, but yeah. Didn't think it would have been possible. There were so many great teams there, and yeah, then signing for Barcelona. You know, it's always been a, a dream of mine. So yeah, I feel like 2022 has been a really good year. Yeah, I think obviously moving here, it's it's a different lifestyle, and I think um, I'm really enjoying it. I think the weather's a lot nicer, and you know, when we finish training, it's a lot more sociable, and you can go to the beach, and it's a Barcelona's a, a, a beautiful city. So yeah, it's been it's been really good. Yeah, it was um, it was after the Euros, um, and yeah, I mean, I was pretty shocked. I think uh, I didn't really uh, expect it. I think you know, there's so many great midfielders here, so yeah, I didn't think that Barca would want to sign me, but they did, and yeah, I mean, I was really, really happy, and yeah, I managed to get the move here. Yeah, um, I told my mum and dad. I think yeah, my dad's a, a massive fan of Spanish football, particularly Barcelona. So yeah, he was really happy and definitely wanted me to, to move here. Yeah, definitely, and I think also, you know, it, it's my childhood club. It's the club that all of my family have supported, Man City, and I was there for nine years, and it was probably the only style of football that I really knew. So, yeah, it definitely wasn't an easy decision, but I think Barcelona was probably one of the only teams, if not the only team, that I would have left Manchester City for. Um, yeah, so I, I got off the plane and um, we got a car here. I met uh, Jonah and all the rest of the coaching staff and uh, Markel, and we sat and had lunch over there, and I think I had, is it uh, Fidoa? Yeah, yeah, yeah for Doha. Um, and then, yeah, the next day I was training. Um, I was pretty nervous, I think, obviously, there's so many good players here and it's Barcelona, so yeah, I was excited but a little bit nervous. And yeah, the girls were all really helpful and um, it was a hard training session, you know, not used to the sun either, but um, take my dog for a walk, go for brunch, go for coffee, do a little bit of exploring. I think when I first moved here, I was probably still doing a lot of the tourist things, you know, seeing all the sights and going to the beach, but not so much now, I think kind of in a routine and yeah focusing on football um, I think you know the village where I live it's a, a nice little it's a nice little village kind of everybody says hello to each other and there's a, a nice coffee shop and I can walk to training which is nice as well and yeah, yeah I really like it here um, probably Ingrid and Aitana I think uh, them two in particular have been really helpful with me and helping me to settle in and obviously they play midfield as well which you know on the pitch they, they're really good at uh, communicating and Yeah, off the pitch, you know, we always go for brunch or coffee or dinner, which is really nice. And I think get to know each other off the pitch better and then on the pitch it kind of works better as well. Um, I think Joan had kind of just told me to relax and enjoy it. And I feel like um, even in the, the games, you know, leading up to Christmas, he was just saying that he wants me to just uh, feel comfortable, enjoy myself and kind of do what I was doing in England here. And yeah, just express myself really. Um, I think uh, the intensity of training, I think, um, The girls are so physical and so aggressive and I think, you know, people probably don't speak about that as much in Spanish football, they kind of just talk about technical and tactical, but I think for me, you know, they're all really physically strong and uh, yeah, the intensity to win the ball back, I think definitely surprised me. Yeah, definitely, I do feel more adapted. I think there's probably still areas of my game where I need to improve to, to fit in the team, but I think at the same time, kind of bring what I was good at in England, I think maybe finding a little bit more confidence and yeah, just being a little bit more confident in games and, and trying different things. Um, I mean, I think Aitana and Patri, I think, you know, their football uh, knowledge and their football brain is probably one of the best in the world. And yeah, I think when I get the ball, I'm probably always looking for one of them too. I mean, I play next to Patri as well. And yeah, she's such a good player. So yeah, I think just playing next to her, I think it's improving my game a lot as well. Yeah, I think uh, I would agree. I think obviously it's been a, a long year and the girls have played a lot of games. So I think it's going to take time for them to, to find their peak and find their best performances, myself included. I think, you know, there's a lot of new players uh, in and around the starting 11 and in and around the squad. So it's going to take time to fit in. And for us all, as you said, to speak the same football language, it is going to take time. But yeah, I think, you know, leading up to Christmas, we've, we've played some better games and, and better football and training's always been good. So yeah, hopefully I think after Christmas we can, we can find our peak and our best performances. Um, I think for me, I, I, I don't really mind either. I think uh, obviously here at Barcelona, we, we want to play the best teams and we want to, we want to win. So I think for me, yeah, I think any, any game we're going in with the same mindset. So yeah, for me, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, a little bit. And I think just, just playing for Barcelona in general, I think, you know, and the way they want to play football. Um, as I said, it is different from what, I'm, from what I'm used to. And 
yeah, I think for me it's just maybe finding my feet a little bit more and, and being more confident and I think then the fans will start to see the, the best version of myself and my best performances. Yeah, I mean, the fans here are incredible. I think probably something that I've never experienced before. I mean, they wait outside for training for signatures and I just think, yeah, they're really friendly away from the pitch and obviously when we're playing in the, the Johan Cruyff Stadium, I think you can definitely hear them and at, at Camp Nou, I think the atmosphere was unbelievable. So yeah, I think for me, they're one of the best fans in the world. Well, I actually spent Christmas in Malaga. I have family who live there, so yeah, I drove down. Um, so yeah, that was nice. And then I think for me, obviously still trying to fit in. And I think when there's a smaller group and I can work with the players a little bit closer and, and with Jonah and kind of really get some good working on the grass, I felt like it was important for me to stay in and kind of carry on with the momentum before Christmas. And yeah, I mean, I'm really enjoying training. Yeah, I mean, for me, the atmosphere, you know, it was, it was unbelievable. I think, as you said, it wasn't 90,000, but 50,000 Barca fans, you know, they're still re really loud and yeah, they're still really great at cheering the team on. And yeah, for me, it was a, a special day and a, a special feeling to be a part of that team and, and playing against Bayern Munich, you know, who were, who were also a good team. I think, yeah, it was just a, a really great day and so happy to be a part of it and playing in front of the Barca fans. Uh, I had to put it in the wash. I had to give it back to the kit man. But yeah, I mean, hopefully at the end of the season, then yeah, I'll be able to get it back off him. <laughs> Um, yeah, probably winning the Euros, I think, yeah, it's a really special moment. Yeah, I think for me, finding my best performances and then obviously winning the Champions League, winning the league, I think that's kind of what I'm here at Barcelona to try and help to do. I think this is a team where we want to win everything, so yeah.